In your opinion, do you believe the elite of this world system are aware of Bible prophecy and what's coming? I believe that some are aware of scripture, the same as Satan is aware of scripture and can quote scripture. But that doesn't mean that he's on the side of God just because he understands prophecy and, that, and can quote the word of God. So could the elite that serve this Luciferian agenda with this uh, global system that's taking place in this one world religion, etc., could they be aware, just like their father the devil is, about this prophetic end of the age? <clears throat> I want to take you to Revelation 6.15. I'm going to read you two different translations. Uh, actually, no, I'll, stay, uh, I'll read you the King James. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. That's Revelation 6.15. And I want to read you an article here that I found very interesting. Okay. And this article is coming from prophecynewswatch.com. So it says, um, sorry, preparing for disaster, elites go underground with luxury bunkers. So I want to show you that that there's uh, there are bunkers going in under the ground for the elite. What are they preparing for, and are they aware of the coming of Jesus, and they're actually preparing for it? There's another scripture that says they hide themselves from the face of the one who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. That's also in Revelation. So the great men and the captain, the chief captains and the rulers of this world will hide themselves in underground bunkers. This is hiding themselves in the caves. All right, it says here in this article, it may well be that the end of the world is near. Of course, those of us who are Christians know it's not the end of the world. It's when Christ returns and we have a new beginning with him. But I think he's speaking this way to draw the attention of people to pay attention to this article. But as the masses panic, riot, fight, or line up for meager handouts, many of the elite will still be living their high life in, in underground bunkers or in the mountains. And there must be a reason why they are getting so prepared. Via Hollywood Reporter says, given the increased frequency of terrorist bombings and mass shootings and an underlying sense of havoc fed by divisive election politics, it's no surprise that home security is going, is going over the top and hitting luxurious new heights. Let me see here. It's in the news on a daily basis. The potential for widespread disasters is huge and ranges from economic meltdown, natural disaster, pandemic, civil unrest, and martial law, and also includes many other dark scenarios. Most will be too overwhelmed to build and get ready ahead of time, and those who remain unprepared will be at the mercy of the worst of what falls upon this country. And that goes into the uh, the size of these, these bunkers and the caves and, and underground areas. But I thought this was interesting from uh, Prophecy News Watch. Preparing for disaster, the elites go underground with luxury bunkers. Again, my question to you is, do you believe that the elite could know something? According to Revelation, it says those that rule this world system will hide themselves from the one who sits on the throne in caves and underground bunkers, according to Revelation. And could it also be that these elite know the scriptures just like Satan does, our enemy? They can quote it, they know it, and they've been studying it. So are they preparing themselves? thinking that they can hide from God himself who sits on his throne by hiding themselves in these caves and in these dens under the ground and in mountains. Satan can quote scripture. He knows it. He knows, according to Revelation, his time is short. So he goes out to make wrath with those who belong to the Lord, and he's been doing so for quite some time. But could it be that just like Satan, their father, the devil, they know that the Lord is coming back soon, and they're preparing for that, thinking that they can hide from the one who sits on the throne? And according to the last, according to scriptures, the last battle in this world, it says the kings of the earth make war with him who sits on the horse. So those that aren't hiding themselves in caves and in dens and underground bunkers, uh, they're going to uh, gather together to make war with the lamb. As Jesus is coming back, riding that white horse, the mighty warrior God that we're waiting for, the kings of the earth turn to make war with Jesus as he sits on the horse and he's coming back. These people know, I believe. I think they have an understanding, not a spirit-filled revelation of revelation, but I believe they have an understanding, just like Satan does, that their time is short, they can read the scriptures like we can, and they can quote it, just like Satan did. That doesn't mean they're on the side of God. It means what do they know? Are they reading 
the signs of the times in their own warped way? Why are they building these underground bunkers? We've never seen this before in history. Could it be that they know that the wrath of the Lamb is about to come? Are they preparing for this? Just a question. They can know scripture just as well as Satan can. God bless you. Thank you for listening.